Mushy Mushy Peeps, it's Christopher London and welcome to another video. Jingle bell, jingle bell. Today, I'm going to be showing my shoe collection. Now, I've done a shoe collection video way back, probably this time last year. That video actually banged. If you guys want to see those shoes, they'll be in that video because I'm not, I think I only have like two pairs that are, I'll repeat and show again, but that's just because of basically this shoe collection is just shoes that I've been given, you know, by sponsors like Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Under Armour, you name it. I'm about to show you guys what they've given me and then also some new heat that I copped as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right. Guys, can we just get a thumbs up for what I'm about to show you? My Kyrie Irving collection. All right, I probably have like top, I'm, I'm up there. I'm t I have probably the top 10 Kyrie collection. I know I got a top 100 in the world, but you'll see why. Okay, so we'll start off right here. I call these my Darth Vader Kyries, all right? All black. I had to get an all black pair of Kyries. When I went to New York, Nike invited Too Hype to the headquarters and we were able to just grab whatever we wanted, bro. Like dead ass. They were like, I thought I was going in there. They were like, you know, my plug hit me up. It was like, yo, we got some shoes for you. We walk in and we could just grab ever many pairs till we just couldn't hold anymore. All right. And, I, and he, they gave me like 12 pairs. These were one of the pairs. Shout out to my man, Avery. Man, I'm struggling. I can't even like reach you know, my shoulder. I can't even reach. Right here, we got the Confetti Kyries. These were also sent to me. Thank you. These are like Kyries. I've never been a huge fan just because of foot comfort. And when it comes to playing basketball, like I'm not the type to just rock basketball shoes unless they're just Jordans but I really don't think Jordans nowadays like retros are meant to be played basketball in. I've just, that's just me but Kyrie's like this I think these are the Kyrie fours right and guys don't crucify me for getting shoe names wrong man I'm not a sneakerhead whatsoever but these are the confettis these are nice moving on to a little more rare the rare side of my collection all right we got the cinnamon oh, dude I look like an idiot trying to reach for these cinnamon toast crunch right here these were given as well this was part of the shoes I cop. I want to, I'll call it a shopping spree when I went to New York at the headquarters. Yeah, these were the few. I got these and then I got another part of the cereal collection. I was trying to get all of the cereal. I think I'm missing like one pair or I might have them all. I'm not sure, but I got the, uh, the kicks, kicks pair as well. These are really dope. I love the colorway here. These are loud. I like loud colorway. I like the confetti. Not so much cinnamon toast crunch, but it, it, you know, that's just, it's just dope. And I like how on the inside has like the cereal on there too. And then the bottom, the soles, those are dope. Now guys, Foot Locker has been just blessing your boy. Sorry if you hear my chair squeak. This shit is actually annoying the fuck out of me. Moving on to the Wheaties, bro. The Uncle Drew movie. This is like, basically these are the Kyrie four Wheaties. These dropped right around Uncle Drew for the promo of his movie that just dropped this year. It came with a letter, I and I I think I've shown this already, but I haven't shown it in a video. I showed it on Twitter. Basically, you are receiving this one of 100 box, bro, because you've never taken your foot off the pedal. You have continually obtained and redefined success in your field, but most importantly, you've done it in an authentic and admirable way. This is from Nike, bro. But basically, this is a Nike X Wheaties X Lionsgate collaboration. It says that I'm thankful to be a part of as an athlete and as Uncle Drew. This is a gift as a fan and admirer of what you do but more importantly who you are keep being you uncle drew so yeah shout out to Kyrie for the one of 100 box so let's just see what's inside now i already opened these some of you were probably crucifying me from opening these out of the package but guys like you guys know me i'm the type of thing these will be worn i'm sorry but these will be worn i'm not keeping them on my eyes I'm not reselling them i'm gonna wear these one day i don't know when but i'm gonna wear them i'll just do some b-roll of the the box <laughs> are fucking fire bro these are fire these are probably my favorite Kyrie's, and not just because they're one of 100 that's that's lit so moving on we have another uncle drew box these aren't so rare but i just think the box and how they delivered was really cool and like i said i'm, I'm really thankful for Foot Locker. always bless me house of hoops specifically you guys know i did a house of hoops shoot not too long ago for the kds and then they also spoiled me with some more Kyrie's. oh yeah um just in time for the premiere of Uncle Drew, 
House of Hoops is releasing the Nike Kyrie Force to remind you that buckets aren't given, they must be earned. So they gave me the Kyrie Uncle Drews and the Kyrie Red Carpets. And this came in before they were released. So that's what makes it cool. But I, I, I gotta get better at showing you guys when I get shit right away. All these things, like I'm opening for the first time. So I just saved this video for you. But what's really cool is not only the shoe, but what the shoe came in, there's literally, you can see that, look at this, this is carpet, bro. This is like freaking carpet. And that's not the only carpet. Moving on to the red carpet. The VIPs, I call these my VIPs, bro. You know, you know I'm gonna be rocking these. These joints are fucking loud and clean, bro. Pink, breast cancer awareness night. You know I'm rocking these. And then you got the red carpet. I think the other carpet was kind of cooler, but I like these shoes better. <laughs> Moving on up. Foot Locker also sent me some James Harden. Now these, these are like, I don't know how rare these are. I don't know if this is even like for sale, but these are the MVPs. And yeah, these are cool too. You know, I don't know if I'll wear these, but OKC third pick, six man of the year and MVPs. So this is, this is dope. This is a dope shoe. Yeah, in the box is really cool but these on ice got some heat right here these are probably my heaviest shoes because they hold a lot of weight and not just like actually physically but these were a lot of money i'm not really too comfortable sharing how much i spent on these but just know if you know you know how about that all right but these are Versace high tops Bro, I got this Versace chain. Like, I just went in there for the robe, right? Me and Jester went in there for the robe, and then I saw the shoes, and I'm like, yo, I would actually rock these. A lot of designer shoes, like, I would not. You wouldn't catch me, and I don't care. But these, yeah, I'm rocking these. Already did, twice. Moving on to the Under Armour. All right, Under Armour, they always showing me love, so shout out to them. And they sent me some Steph Curry's all white. These are, like, the Curry... Fours? Yeah, Steph Curry fours. Now he's about to, he just dropped the fives, which I got as well. And then he's about to drop the sixes. So I might be getting those soon too. Uh, they sent me these pair. I have another pair, but they were all beat up and I didn't feel like showing them. But those are on ice. I haven't worn those yet. I got some newer Currys. These are the Curry, I think these are the five right here. And these are cool. These are the, I think these are the birthday cake. I don't know. But like I said, I'm not one to know the names, man. I just, a. Hey. And these are comfy. These are way better than these, 100%. Yeah. You you know, I just felt like it was necessary to just show these these PlayStation Paul Georges again. These are just and these were a gift, bro. These were a gift. I'm still just in awe from them. But yeah, so that's cool. Paul George gave me these along with the bag and a PS4 that it came in. So that was, I'll never forget that. <laughs> Moving on to some other shoes that were given to me. We got Foot Locker. Bless me with these new Vapor Max Pluses. I'll probably rock these with some joggers. They're all right. You know, they, they cool. You know, I'm not a big Vapor Max man myself, but I could, I, I could fuck with these. Now, I've been saving this, dude. I've been saving this. Ugh the video like they sent me this months ago but i have not opened this i wanted a genuine reaction so shout out to full locker once again it says do not open until 2018. It's 20 yeah it's 2018. <laughs> so i guess it's time to open it discover your air here we go i don't know what to expect Ooh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. You you guys, bro. This is kind of cool. This is kind of cool, bro. This shit. This shit. And they got the shirt, too. They got the shirt. Hold up. Hold up. What's this say? You've unearthed a fresh new pair of 90s inspired Nike Airs exclusively at Foot Locker. And while you're probably thankful not everything from the 90s survived, we managed to snag you some mint condition goodies from the era that started it all. Discover your air, Foot Locker. Thank you, Foot Locker. Come on. Yes. I got this. Oh. Okay, we got some goodies. This is not just a shoe collection. This is just an unboxing of some. Oh, we got a fanny pack. Hold up. What's this? It's like a. It's a plastic bag. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a plastic bag from the '90s, bro. And a bunch of pop sockets. Tiddly winks. I think these are tiddly winks. Very large tiddly winks. And some stickers. We got we got a '90s T-shirt, bro. Hold up. Hold the freaking phone. Bring out the sneakers. Ooh, yo, these are fire, bro. The laces. I didn't even peep the laces. Hold up. But 
yeah you guys you guys peep the heat man look at the laces you got the yeah these are these are hot you gotta admit these these are fire as fuck thank you Foot Locker for blessing me so then I bought these from Foot Locker I had to cop you know I love my 12 all red these are just these are just cool I personally like these it was a must cop for me I think these are sitting bro and I was like hey they sitting I'm a cop moving on to some running shoes I cop these while in Dallas I honestly just needed some shoes and I don't even know why these are in here <laughs> Nike got these at the headquarters when I got all those pairs of shoes these I'm seeing a lot of people rock these bro I don't know what they're called but these are in right now yeah I got a pair I'm actually still salty a little story there were the Don John LeBrons and I put that pair back bro because I couldn't hold enough boxes and then I swapped them out for a pair of Kyrie's I look back on goat and they resell for like 500 I'm like damn them shoes are cool like for resale but I just didn't think I'd ever wear them and now it's like now that I know they got some cloud around them I might rock them you know what I'm saying but then Reebok reached out to me they sent me you guys already know we rocking the soul Furies over at Reebok did a video where the two hype guys competed for a pair of these as well this pair I like this colorway I actually love this colorway so shout out to Reebok for sending me those shoes all right so then I was sent these shoes Pumas yeah you'll never catch me in these I was just I was just I was just sitting there. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Hey, y'all, come on. You can't go 10 for 10. All right, nine out of 10 is cool. Like what you guys send me, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Like maybe y'all rock them like if I mow the grass or something. Like <laughs> Going back to the Nike headquarters, I picked out these LeBron. These are hot. Can't go wrong with these LeBrons right here. They're comfy, a little heavy, but that leads me to one of the hottest pairs. The low top LeBron 15 South Beaches, bro. Come on. Where are the fire emojis? South Beach bottoms, bro. That's what, oof. These are nice. Unfortunately, I didn't get my size. These are, I know they're looking. <laughs> They're looking like you could live in them, I know. But they're size 14, so I would get these in like a 13. Nike just sent me these. We got the What The LeBron 16. These are fresh. I'm gonna change out the laces. I don't think the laces are loud enough. I might put on, I'm gonna put on these light, light green, lime green, whatever, whatever laces in. This is cool, they got some cheetah print carpet. I mean, these are definitely What The. Like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Moving on up, we got some more Pumas. I wore these in a video. These are actually very cool. Comfy, bro. You know, DeAndre Ayton might have broken his ankle in these, but like I've yet to broke break an ankle. It's like heavy in the back, but I think they're actually are pretty decent basketball shoes. They just look like platforms. Like they're really thick right here. If they could like slim this down a little bit, I think these are a dub. But I, I fuck with these. I fuck with these. Got these. I've already worn these a couple times. This is probably one of my favorite KDs in a while. They're very comfy. These are the Peach Jam. Nike gave me to these at the headquarters. So shout out to them. Yeah, these are definitely this probably my favorite basketball shoe that I own. Not my favorite of all, but like it's a it's a top top five. It's a top five to wear it, to play it. Speaking of favorite to play in, bro, I call these the rice gum. Irrelevant. And that's because there's rice right here and I don't know where the gum, I don't know. When I saw rice, that's the first thing that came to mind. Yeah, he's living rent free, fuck you. These are the Kobe sixes. My favorite, if you guys know me, these are my favorite basketball shoes of all time. They're just really comfy, light on my feet, and they look cool. I haven't hooped in these yet, but these are my one of my most recent purchases that I haven't worn yet, and I plan to someday. When I can hoop again, I'll definitely wear these. All right, another Kobe. These are the more recent Kobe's that Nike sent to me. These are the Kobe ADs, I believe. I definitely want another colorway of these. These are very comfy. I wasn't a big fan of them at first, but actually playing in them. Are, like, Kobe makes the best basketball shoes. I'm not a huge Kobe fan, but his basketball shoes, I fucking love them. Except his high tops. His high tops are trash. High top Kobe's. These were his good high tops and these are lit unfeated pro tros i think that's what they're called got these at during the all-star weekend i believe got these at the nike headquarters in well not the ha nike headquarters i got them at the nike shop with nike during all-star weekend cool you guys saw that vlog i had to i had to cop some tens in the okc colorway these are like the west westbrook i think inspired ones i just said ah, let me get it let me get it when i rock my okc jerseys i might wear these to an okc game or two so these are the tens i got at the ace family charity game oh uh, these were our team shoes and this was the first time i ever played in some retro 10 and they're retro these are retro 10s right i hope they're 10s but whatever they are they're actually very comfortable did not know these were comfy now i actually like them and if there's a cool colorway that comes out i'm a cop all right finishing up we have one of my favorite ones the Kawhi. i call them the Kawhi leonard's <laughs> 
Kawhi just recently left Jordan to join New Balance. <laughs> But these right here, he left a mark with Jordan with these, right? These are dope. They got the finals. I think this is when he got the finals MVP. Yeah, bro, like everything about these shoes is just fucking amazing. They're tore up, I know, but that's just because I love wearing them. Yeah, you're probably thinking I'm crazy for wearing these, but like I said, I'm not the sneakerhead to keep shit on ice, bro. If I think this shit lit, I'ma wear them. I don't care. These are my most recent purchase, I think. These are the PSG 5s. They just did a collaboration. What was it? Like Saint Laurent? wrong psg football club and jordan plan on taking some fire ass photos with these and my fit i got with these so moving on to the blazers now i used to rock blazers in high school every single day and i haven't worn a pair of blazers since i copped these uh the off-white blazers i don't know which laces to go with guys should i go would you go with the white laces or would you go with the black laces? i was an in-betweener so i just put both i kind of i'm, I'm kind of feeling the white but then depending on what you're wearing i like the black too Anyways, these are dope. These are probably one of the top shoes in the Off-White collaboration collection with Nike, so yeah. And one of my favorites, Off-White Converse, man. Off-White Chuck. I wanna go. the off chucks man these are just litty haven't worn these yet i just i just copped these about a couple months ago still haven't worn them yet but i haven't i i don't know i don't know when i should whip these out guys before i end this video i totally forgot that you guys are wanting to see my dbz shoe collection so let me just go on over to the office and show you the shoes that i have from the dbz adidas collection that i copped and there's still more on the way but i'll just show you what i have all right here we are in the office this is where I keep some of my other shoes, my Dragon Ball Z collection. And you guys see this beautiful glass shelf display. This is probably my favorite addition to the office. Worked from the bedroom and stuff. I couldn't really add things like this, like I wanted to in the room because I live with my girlfriend. She's like, I'm not, you're not putting no fucking Dragon Ball Z in our fucking room, blah, blah, blah. So now it's in my office, but if you guys could already tell, we got, we got the Frieza shoe right here. This is an Adidas collection or, you know, some people will call it a, adidas i think this is probably one of the better shoes definitely De there's like this whole collection i i'm gonna be honest i wouldn't i wouldn't rock <laughs> there's a few that haven't dropped yet like the shinrons and i think perfect sell those shoes those are good but like this ones that i have would be the only one i probably rock then right here are the gokus oh yeah i like the nimbus cloud right here that's dope and if you peep the inside, Dragon Ball. And this is like a, I think this is Ultra Boost. So I'm, I would imagine these could be comfy, but I'm not actually gonna wear these. These are just strictly for display. These are definitely gonna be kept on ice. Let me know what you guys think of my display. Once I get all the shoes, it's just gonna be like, notice I have like two of each, like I have the whole pair in here. Once I get, I think there's four more, I'm gonna switch it out and be one by one. And then the figurines will go with like, the actual shoe. And then right here, Team Gohan. This is probably the ugliest one that I have right now. And if you notice, there's like the reflector. Um, it's pretty cool. You'll see it better with no lights, but yeah, this shoe just doesn't, one, it doesn't look comfy. And I don't know, I just think it's kind of ugly. You think it's ugly? Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it's like, it has its moments, you know what I'm saying? But it's definitely just for display. I really like the figurines. It's really it, guys. That's gonna do it for my shoe collection. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Once again, thank you guys this a lot of this stuff wouldn't be possible without you guys and i just want to give a quick thanks to y'all and i hope you guys are having a good holiday like i said subscribe if you're new giveaway link in the description two hype merch link in the description and i'll see you guys again tomorrow subscribe if you're new join the crew you already know what to do